As you would have seen this morning and over two phases of the challenge, um, a lot of the biophysical science has been focused on how the cumulative effects of multiple stresses drive change in our moana and our ecosystems. And we had some really nice learnings that, that Simon discussed this morning about the complexity of those interactions and how those changes can be quite abrupt and unexpected in terms of management. So in phase one, we did some really nice work at, at national scales, looking at how nutrients and sediments interacted in what most of us would consider relatively pristine ecosystems. And we demonstrated at scale that those subtle interactions were beginning to erode resilience and were presenting us with, with danger signals. We saw how that work um, has evolved in, in phase two and how we've taken up the challenge to actually begin thinking about how we can translate some of that knowledge that we've generated into frameworks and tools that hopefully will be useful across scales in terms of thinking about cumulative effects, how we can think about them differently from just adding up the number of stresses we have in marine ecosystems, how we can take into account those stressor interactions, and hopefully how these frameworks and tools can be used to assist in decision making. And we saw some really nice pre uh, presentations from Jasmine where she was conceptualising this idea of ecological response footprints often being much larger than where the stresses are, are occurring, how these responses can be occurring in different places and different times than where the stresses are being generated. And that kind of thinking comes from a lot of ecological principles that as ecologists we take for granted, but often as managers they don't have access to that information. Then we talked about a more, much more positive sense, and I've been much more excited um, in this part of, the, word, uh, part of the, the work we've been doing, and how we can use that knowledge to assist management for recovery. And Rebecca did a great job outlining those ecological principles. So, and we've also, um, through Joe and Fabrice's work, translating that into decision making, when to sit back and let recover with active interventions, the risk of not making decisions in terms of the ecological consequences. So we've been generating uh, what I think is quite a significant um, body of knowledge in the biophysical ecological research space. And there's an opportunity to bring this together now and begin to test it with, um, with whānau, with regional councils and with central government. So we've learnt a lot, um, we need to communicate it, we need to package this together so people can begin to use it. So as Anne-Marie pointed out in, in her program, I've got two minutes left, in her program, she's going to be testing some of these gifts and some of these frameworks. And we're going to be gaining some learnings from that as people road test and, and, and scenario testing how this might look. Now these scenarios are Pacific cases and Pacific situations in certain contexts. So we'll be taking these conceptualised frameworks and, and road testing them. So there's a piece of work to be done in integration for impact that will begin, that will integrate those learnings we learn through doing in small situations and generalising that knowledge and returning that back to the community to use. So one of the lessons that we're hoping to do out of this, and we have Justine and Leslie. Justine's got expense, extensive experience in policy and consents. Leslie is a coastal scientist with ECAN, recently retired, currently employed again, um, who's going to be working with us because they have all this experience, at least working in regional government levels, to make sure what we're generating is going to be useful um, to the community. So it's a challenging piece of work, um, bringing all this together. We're really excited about the opportunity to do it, and I think um, it will be a really significant piece of work for the challenge, because if we don't um, manage the cumulative effects, as Simon pointed out, that's one of the biggest challenges in ecosystem-based management. How do we manage collectively the impacts of our activities on the Moana, and importantly, how can we then use that understanding to manage for, for recovery and regeneration? And I'll stop there.